Anyone who has even a little interest in history wishes to travel through time to certain eras. Unfortunately, we don't have time machines to help us time travel. However, we have something equally amazing. History books. This video contains the 10 best history books to read to let you relive the past of your favorite civilizations and eras. Welcome, fellow readers. This time, I have brought something interesting for history enthusiasts. If you are a history lover, you must have wished to get your hands on a time machine to live one of your favorite episodes of the past. At least once. I do it every other week. Then, I pick a fantastic history book of the civilization or era I want to relive. You just need one of the best history books to read to uncover the groundbreaking and spellbinding chronicles of past events. I have recommended 10 best history books in this video. They contain both the tales of victories and tragedies of some impactful events of our collective past. So summon your internal explorer and let's begin the journey. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Links to the books are given in the description below. Number 10. John Adams by David McCullough He was a Yale graduate and two-time winner of the Pulitzer Prize and the National Book Award. He created many highly praised books on historical nonfiction. One of them is this compelling biography recommendation, John Adams. As evident from the title, the book chronicles the life of one of America's most influential founding fathers, John Adams. It elaborates on his pivotal role in the formation of the United States. David McCullough starts Adams' story with his birth in Massachusetts and moves to his early rearing education and development as a strong and just statesman. He talks about his key role in Boston Massacre and American Revolution. The book also explores his personal life and highlights his rapport with his wife, Abigail. It sheds light on the hurdles he faced during his presidency, notably the looming threat of war with the French. It is a terrific book to read and learn how this passionately dedicated individual shaped the destiny of America. Number 9. Guns, Gems, and Steel – The Fate of Human Societies by Jared Diamond He is an American author, geographer, and historian who teaches geography at UCLA. He is famous for his acclaimed works, including Guns, Gems, and Steel, The Third Chimpanzee, and Collapse. It is a thought-provoking and extensive historical nonfiction that explores the reasons responsible for the thriving and failure of certain civilizations. Most historians believe that innate racial or cognitive differences play pivotal roles in the success or defeat of societies. Jared Diamond has a different opinion. His central thesis says that the fate of human societies depends on geographical and environmental elements. Diamond begins his discussion by highlighting the discrepancies between different regions. He raises a crucial question of why Eurasian societies conquered and hegemonized various parts of the globe, while African and American societies failed to keep up the pace. The book also proves that certain societies were at an advantage in the development of technology and political institutions. It is a must-read for those who want to read the history of human civilization from a new perspective. Number 8. The Ottomans, Khans, Kaisers, and Caliphs by Mark David Baer He is a historian and a professor of international history at the London School of Economics. Before that, he had taught at various other prestigious institutes. B.T. scholar Mark David's area of expertise is Ottoman history and the modern Middle East. The Ottomans is my all-time favorite book on the history of the Great Ottoman Empire. Professor Mark delves into multi-ethnic, multi-religious, and multilingual aspects of its origin. It starts with Osmanil, the founding father of the kingdom. The journey from a small Anatolian state to a formidable realm that ruled most of Europe, Asia, and Africa is intriguing. One of the standing out features of the book is the survey of the distinctive system of governance of the Ottomans and how it governed diverse cultural and religious communities. The best part of the book is that it differs from conventional historical narratives. It gives lovers of history an insight into the complex framework of the empire and its lasting impact on the contemporary world. Number 7. The Fortunes of Africa A 5,000-year history of wealth, greed, and endeavor by Martin Moretti. He is a multi-talented man, a historian, a journalist, and a biographer. He has also served as a foreign correspondent in Africa. His in-depth learning about Africa has allowed him to author several high-praising books on the region. The Fortunes of Africa is a chunky book with over 70 chapters. But that's understandable as it aims to cover 5,000 years' history of the African continent. The first thing you will admire about the text is that Martin has shared the material systematically. You will get unbiased and detailed accounts of some critical eras. 
For instance, Portuguese voyages, the Punic Wars of Roman Carthage, Roman rule, Christianity and Islam in Africa, and the partitioning of African borders. The book also talks about the vanquishing of capitalism in the region. This part is related to the diamond mines, the production of diamonds and how the capitalists monopolize them. It's a great book to read for those who want comprehensive accounts of African history. Number 6. Grant by Ron Chernow He is a highly celebrated American historian and biographer. His biography, Washington, a life received Pulitzer Prize in 2011. Another one of his biography on Alexander Hamilton was an inspiration for a highly popular musical named Hamilton. Grant explores the life of a revered military leader and two-term president in American history, Ulysses S. Grant. It starts from his humble upbringing and continues to his role as a leading figure in the American Civil War. We also learn about his complicated relationship with other prominent leaders of his time, including General Robert E. Lee and President Abraham Lincoln. It allows us to see the successes and controversies he faced during his presidency. The best aspect of the biography is that it makes you understand that the man was more than just a revered war hero. If you want to read an extensively researched and entrancing historical fiction, read Grant as soon as possible. Number 5. Making China Modern For the Great Qing to Xi Jinping by Klaus Mohan The fifth history book recommendation I have on the list is Making China Modern by Klaus Mohan. He is a German historian and sinologist. He is serving as the president of Zeppelin University since 2020. His book Criminal Justice in China won the John K. Fairbank Award in 2009. This is one of the best books on Chinese history. It is a great source to learn about the modern China. It starts back from the Great Qing Dynasty and goes all the way to the powerful Xi Jinping. The book gives you a tour of the rise and fall of China from a systematic and unprejudiced lens. It helps you understand events like the Opium Wars and the role of foreign ministers of the Qing Dynasty in ending these wars. It also explains the 100 years of humiliation of China and its turbulent relationship with Japan. It is a terrific book to read on Chinese history if you are interested in understanding present-day China. Number 4. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank Her full name was Annalise Marie Anne Frank. She was born into a Jewish family in Nazi Germany in 1929. She was a German diarist who archived horrific accounts of the Holocaust during her life in a diary. The Diary of a Young Girl is one of my all-time favorite history books on Nazi Germany. Basically, it is a biography. But let me warn you, it isn't for the faint-hearted. That is because Anne hasn't sugar-coated anything. The graphic details of the Holocaust during the annexation of the Netherlands by the Nazis make your blood run cold. The part where this 15-year-old girl hides in her father's office in a loft with her family to escape German troops makes you understand the fear of those poor souls. It was during hiding that she penned down her life in a diary. If you are interested in reading about the mass destruction of Nazis during World War II, you must read this soul-touching biography. Number 3. Leningrad The Epic Siege of World War O, 1941-1944 by Anna Reid She is a British historian and author well-known for her extensive understanding of the histories of Russia and Eastern Europe. Before she embarked on her writing career, she worked as a reporter for The Economist in Russia and Ukraine. World War O has been the deadliest and most destructive incident that shaped the history of the modern world. Hundreds of books have been written about it, and I try to devour almost anything on the subject. Yet, Leningrad is one of my top favorites of all time. The main reason for admiring this history book is that it is emotionally charged and well-researched. The book focuses on one of the most distressing and significant incidents of World War II. It explores the siege of Leningrad, currently known as St. Petersburg. It is termed one of the most lethal and longest sieges in history. It continued for 872 days and greatly influenced the course of the war. The book also pays tribute to the resilience of the citizens of Leningrad, who displayed remarkable courage to survive this harrowing adversity. Number 2. A Woman of No Importance by Sonia Purnell She is a British biographer and journalist famous for her literary pieces on prominent historical figures and episodes. She worked as a reporter for The Economist, The Sunday Times and The Daily Telegraphy before becoming an author. A Woman of No Importance again deals with World War II. It is the story of an unsung hero whose bravery and heroism changed the course of the war. Her name was Virginia Hall. She was an ambitious girl, but the societal expectations for a woman in the 20th century stifled her dreams. However, she didn't give up. 
Her leg was amputated in a devastating accident when the war broke out, due to which she was denied entry into the foreign service. Her gender was also a major factor in the rejection. These obstacles couldn't deter her and became one of the most effective and courageous spies in American history. She went by the code name The Limping Lady and became the target of the opponent forces due to her remarkable intel on the enemy. Very few books are as inspirational and compelling, so you should definitely read it. Number 1. The Crusades, The Authoritative History of the War for the Holy Land by Thomas S. Bridge He is a globally known historian and authority on medieval history, notably the Crusades. He has spent most of his academic career studying prominent historical events and military operations related to the Holy Land during the medieval period. In this book, Esbridge talks about the Crusades as a very violent and legendary chain of military and religious conflicts. The book gives a panoramic view of the political, religious, and cultural aspects of the Middle East and Europe in the 11th century. Esbridge introduces the readers to several key figures, including emperors, popes, and caliphs, who will shape the future of the Crusades in the future. He examines how the clash of ideologies between Christianity and Islam fueled these deadly conflicts. If you are a history enthusiast interested in understanding the impact of these holy wars, you must read this work of Thomas's Bridge. And with that, our journey of past chronicles comes to an end. These were some of the most captivating historical books I read. I hope you may have found a few covering your areas of interest in human heritage. Enjoy reading them and share your feedback in the comments. If this video helps you find the next book you are going to read, then like and share this video. Let me know in comment section on what type of books I should cover in my next video. Also, if you read one of the book mentioned in this video, share your review or thoughts with us. Subscribe this channel for more such awesome videos. Thanks for watching.